All right, it's kind of sometimes it's seldom that I uh, do a video that uh, at least shows the wrap up and the uh, completion or whatever. But um, power steering pumps in the water pump, the alternator, the coil, and the um, fuel pump, and uh, so far so good. The fluids did uh, take a little while to even out, but of course you know they have to fill all the crevices and whatnot, and uh, so with a couple of drives into town or whatever it obviously allowed everything to uh, reach the thing I burped the water system as much as I could but um, did lose a little bit um, on my first one or two drives into town and then uh, refilled the overflow tank and it's basically stayed stable uh, since then so I'm quite happy with that uh, there's been no change to the temperature reading inside the car or the external temperatures that I've been reading with a um, infrared gun. So I think it's uh, it's where it should be. On one of the uh, repair videos, I mentioned that the carburetor can kind of turn a little bit, you know, a degree or so, or two, or I don't know what it was. I didn't measure it, but um, I haven't tackled that yet because I'll have to take the whole carb off and um, see how to reset those bolts underneath and also um, I have pre-ordered a gasket for under there in case I break it coming off I don't know how long it's been since the carburetor's been off um, so anyway I'll grab it handheld here one sec the water pump is not leaking um, I don't know if I had to show you but I had to take the water pump off again in order to put this little uh, um, hose in there this one because uh, it's impossible to get that on with it on and uh, I knew that ahead of time and then just forgot when I was putting the pump on that you really have to put the uh, the pump site on and then wedge it in there as you're putting it. It's impossible. There's not enough uh, hose there to kind of bend it into that position. Um, I'd like this to be a little bit tighter but um, it's been okay for now. There's the new uh, alternator. And uh, that's working great. I, I was measuring the um, the charge rates, and I was getting like 15 and a half volts out of it, and that's fucking awesome. The other one was starting to get, I don't know if it was weak or whatever, or worn out, but it was pretty gnarly, and it wasn't putting out a good chummy. And then uh, down here, which you didn't see last time, I've got a new coil there. I'd had that one sitting around. I actually have a whole box of coils that came out of the, whether the Studebaker or the uh, Mercury or whatever. I got a whole shitload of them, uh, but this does have the electronic point system, so it does take a, a, a certain um, ohms, a, a certain resistance, and then there's the new, uh, um, I can't see what you're seeing, but there's the new fuel pump down there. So anyway, I mean, uh, for what I was going to call a, you know, a four hour job, it actually ended up being a whole goddamn weekend. Probably 10 hours worth, but then again, um, I was running into some things that I didn't know I was doing the coil, so I, I added some things while I had other things off, so. Um, this has obviously had a new, this is a Chrysler um, uh, radiator, but it's not the one that came with it, because the one that came with it had one over here, so it's really just a right angle bend to get to the water neck. Um, so I don't know, this is off of some other Chrysler, and so I did have to uh, make up this this exact hose doesn't really exist. So I had to put two hoses together, although the bottom one uh, did come out right. And it has a really funky bend in it. I don't know if you can see down there. It's got a funky bend in order to avoid getting uh, eaten up by the... Um, by the chummies. So anyway, um, I didn't get into anything else really. Um, so that's the front of it. I mean, now this car needs, uh, if I zoom out here, it badly needs rear shocks. Well, springs in particular. The shocks might be okay, but the springs are totally flat. <laughs> you can almost see in there, like, yeah, they, they got no sprung to them anymore. The springs, they done sprung. Um, but anyway, this is, uh, I'm still enjoying this car. I really like it.
you know, it's got the beater aesthetic. Uh, it's a proper Plymouth. I don't mind the four door thing because sometimes you got to get shit in the back seat. And there's no point in fucking around with other things. So, anyway, just a very short update. I wanted to just show that uh, that job was actually completed. Sometimes people send me emails and they hey, the hell happened to that? Anyway, thanks everyone. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.